Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a funnel report using Google Data Studio and data from Google Analytics. I'll walk through how you can create a custom funnel to report on users who convert on your website. We'll make use of data from Google Analytics, and since we're going to use Google Data Studio for our report, it means you can create your funnel using historical data. Let's get started. Here's the ad hoc conversion funnel report we're going to create using Google Data Studio. It's a very simple funnel visualization, but it doesn't rely on having goals configured inside Google Analytics. So you can create this report whenever you like and even apply it to historical data. At the top, you can see I've added some options to make the report more dynamic. You can quickly switch Google Analytics reporting views using the data control option. And you can focus on how particular marketing channels are converting using the filter. For example, I can select organic search to see how organic traffic is traveling through the funnel. And you can change the date range. Let's begin with a new report. To start, we're going to add a scorecard to our report and we're going to select Unique Page Views as the metric. Now I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to name my filter 5 Conversion and I'll be using an Include filter and I'm going to search for and select Page. Then I'm going to select Contains and enter the page that people view when they've converted on the website. In this example, that page will be forward slash autocompleted.html. Then I click Save. Now I can see the number of conversions for my report. I'm going to select Style and then select the option to hide the metric name. Since I'm using data from the Google Analytics demo account, I can check this against the data inside Google Analytics. So I can see that the number of conversions are correct. Remember, you don't actually need to have a goal configured to create the filter inside Google Data Studio. Now let's head back to our report. Now I'm going to add a bullet chart to visualize the funnel. Let's add the bullet chart. We can see the chart includes lots of details that we don't need. So let's select Style and change the range color to transparent. And let's deselect Show Axis. Now let's select Data and change the range limit. We need to set a maximum range limit that is greater than the number of page views for the first step in our funnel. So let's enter 10,000. If you're not sure what to enter at this stage, then you can wait until you've added all of your steps to the report and then enter the maximum range limit then. Now I need to deselect Show Target. And I need to add the same filter I just created for the scorecard and apply it to my bullet chart. Now I need to copy the scorecard and bullet chart for each of the steps in my funnel and apply new filters for each step that match to the URL of the steps I want people to complete on my website.
Now I've created my ad hoc conversion report. I can add the date range selector, filter, and data control options, and finish styling the report. So that's how you can create a funnel report using Google Data Studio. How are you reporting on conversions? Are you using Google Analytics, Data Studio, or another solution? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.